Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about morning walk. Uh, many times whenever I go early in the morning uh, by car or by bike, um, I find so many people walking around at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, early in the morning. Um, dew drops, fog, smog, everything is there in the surrounding and they walk for one hour or for five kilometers to reduce their weight or to control their diabetes because somebody might have told them to go for morning walk. <clears throat> Up to certain limit that morning walk is good, absolutely good, but not at wrong times. Walking is good for health, but not early in the morning when there is, especially in the winter season when there is a extreme cold, one should not go for morning walk. <clears throat> person exposes to cold air, smog that is mixture of smoke plus fog, so that is not good and before sunrise one should not go one thing and morning time that means up to 12 o'clock that is morning. So get up early in the morning, after brushing your teeth, you can have a cup of tea or coffee, no problem, <clears throat> apply oil on your body, do massage, you can do exercise, pranayama, breathing exercise, meditation, whatever you want, but that should be in closed room, not in the extreme cold especially in the winter season and after doing exercise you can have hot water bath you can put one or two spoonful of uh, salt or rock salt in it and after taking bath don't expose to chilled air or cold air don't switch on fan whatever the secretions sweat that will come out after taking bath wipe it out with the help of towel one or two towel might be good and after that have your breakfast at around 8.30 then you can take a little walk for 10 minutes in a <clears throat> under sun expose your skin to sun rays that will warm up your body that will recharge your body and little exercise of walking for 10 minutes will be sufficient and no need to do brisk walking you have your breakfast then go for in Marathi it is called Shatta Pauli and you can do that but the <clears throat> maximum exercise you should do early in the morning at home and when you walk around you get a good amount of energy from nature so expose yourself to nature, the sun and that will be a beneficial in winter season but don't expose your body to chilled air, cold air. One more thing, when you walk for 5 kilometers, 10 kilometers to reduce your weight, actually 
walking doesn't help you need some exercise for your abdominal muscles to strengthen your abdominal muscles you need to strengthen your core muscles so do some exercise to concentrate to strengthen your abdominal muscles don't overburden your legs or knee joints because some day it will start degenerating and the oil synovial fluid which is present in your knee joint will reduce and it will start paining so that shouldn't be if you want to <coughs> do knee, knee exercise lie down and uh, do some movements in range that will be beneficial for the joints but don't walk much in day time in winter season you can get a sun exposure up to 11 o'clock 12 o'clock no problem you can walk around but for the sake of reducing your your weight or control your diabetes only walking is not sufficient and it's not enough not good because people are walking for <clears throat> miles they are taking medicines for obesity cholesterol blood sugar uh, sugar anti hypertensives and anti diabetic drugs and they are walking walking is simple but if you do it with a uh, proper knowledge then it will uh, benefit you one more advice <clears throat> this advice is for patients who are above 40 40 years i'm not saying this for youngsters who are aspiring to get uh, admission in police or military they should be tough enough they should go at 5 o'clock 6 o'clock for exercise they will warm up their body they will do some exercise no problem they should be exposed to cold and hot weather all the, the extreme conditions they should face so this advice is for above 40 people teenagers can play teenagers can go for walk or they can run but people who are above 40 they shouldn't do this thank you